Hey, welcome back. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions, and today we've got another new one by Tina S. and her new band, Spin Twice. Uh, Tina, as many of you who watch this will know, was basically out of the scene. I can't remember if it was like five, six, seven, eight years, something like that, but had huge, huge following when she was doing stuff that long ago and uh, did lots of kind of high energy, kind of virtuosic kind of guitar centered pieces and uh, was super well known. And it was probably one of the first kind of guitar players on YouTube I ever saw was her. So anyway, mass popularity, all of that kind of got away from doing stuff. I think she got some kind of uh, college education or something to that effect. And then recently, about six months ago, maybe even longer ago, uh, the first of, of <clears throat> about six months ago, uh, she released a new song with her band, Spin Twice, Complete Departure, uh, from what she had done before. So lots of defenders, lots of detractors, all of that. I'm in the middle. Uh, I think she's a great guitar player, and I kind of dig that she's done something that's more kind of song-based and guitar playing for the song. So I doubt we'll see lots of uh, kind of bombastic, you know, guitar playing in this, but you never know. It looks like she's got a jazz master. Uh, that's always a fun one to kind of see uh, when players kind of shift from the super strats to kind of a more traditional kind of vintage guitar, whether it's a strat or jazz master or whatever. So, hey, if this is your kind of thing, please like, subscribe, and comment. And let's talk about Tina S and her new band. And here we go Tidal Wave. I've hurt you before I made you feel like I wished for more You stay strong even when my eyes were hollow And my words were lies I always thought that I would really change Somehow you kept giving me a chance But I used to throw away everything that I had Alright, you said as you got me back up Listen, I'm thankful that you were there Ooh, I can't fly, my whole life is tied It's missing hope, lost in the tide I love when we kick into the heavier part here. So obviously it's more texture oriented and, you know, she's got kind of a interesting kind of snappier, not heavily distorted kind of sound, but obviously using orange, which is a pretty dark sounding amp and, um, depending on which model, lots of gain. And if that's actually her stage setup and, there's something about the Jazzmaster that kind of has this really neat rounded sound, depending on which one you use. Uh, the one I had was really incredible, but kind of that's, that's not the scale, but the length of the body and stuff just kind of bugged me. I'm a smaller dude and, you know, Tina looks like, you know, it's like halfway <laughs> and then the next way out here. Anyway, that was my perception. Love the guitars. Love to get another one again someday soon, but that's what drove me away from it. So anyway, it's cool to see her using one. And, you know, I could do without the singing, you know, as the song. It's a decent song, I guess. And we'll kind of get to the end and then we'll talk more. These pleasures and new friends I dug into the void for this the night the end I paint over all that gray from melancholy, monochrome dreams. There's so much I regret. I want to try my best. I know that you were sick of me. You gave me everything, so I did and think. Ghost of the past, I'm erasing. Yeah. So 
So kind of a cool thing to hear, kind of do a solo break. Uh, sonically speaking, yeah, it sounds like an orange. It's a lot more, um, it's really a lot more distortion, a little thicker than normally her other sound was. I don't know what she used to use as far as an amp, but she had the V'ger guitars. And, uh, you know, so kind of cool to see her take a little bit of a solo break and have such a cool change in basically guitar tone than what we're used to. Listen, I'm thankful that you were there I can't fly, my whole life is tied to missing hope Lost in the tide away, lost in I just realized there's no bass player. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or not. And I find it ironic that there's two players uh, that play guitar when you have Tina, who's obviously an incredibly accomplished guitar player, and this other guy in the back. Like, he could be doing the same with the bass, and it would be more effective as far as I'm concerned. So, um, yeah, interesting. I just literally thought of that. I can't stop. So there we have it, Tina S. and her band Spin Twice doing the song Tidal Wave. Uh, what I'll say is, like, is this something I would listen to? No, not at all. Uh, is it well done? Yes. Is there better in this style? Probably, but I still don't care. Uh, but what's really, really important, I guess, and, and the takeaway for me is, like, if Tina is happy doing this and this makes her happier, then cool. That's all that matters to me. Um, I'm not her audience as far as a listener, to be honest, except I know her guitar playing. And I think it's kind of great that maybe after all those years of being like considered a, an amazing technical guitar player, that to shift gears and to do something that makes more sense, uh, whether it's commercially or it's more rewarding personally, then who? what do I care? I mean, I'm glad if she's happy doing it, then I'm happy that she's happy. That's what I'll say. And, um, you know, it's nice to hear a little guitar in there. There was a little bit of a solo, probably like a four-bar, five-bar solo that, uh, you know, was it a shredder? No, but there was some cool stuff going on. So that's all I care. And uh, please put your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And I am Brian. I'll see you soon.